Conkadan here, Lake Ontario there. This is uh, Port Hope's Lakefront Trail. There's been a lot of flooding in the area, from what I understand. Port Hope's been known to flood before. Just look up the Great Flood of 1980, where the Ganaraska River flooded and Sears and a, an auto store, a car store, a dealer, and a lot of other things got washed out into the lake. And uh, I heard that uh, the boardwalk up here a little ways was uh, temporarily shut down for flooding, so I thought I'd come along and, uh, well, take a look. I know there's a lot of people that can't get up this way. So, uh, well, let's just see how bad it is. And, you know, let's, let, let's talk a little. We'll chat about, uh, well, nature paths and the environment. Uh, what else should we talk about? Well, the, the evil global warming that's going on. <laughs> some people agree that it's there, some people don't. I'm not going to try to sway you one way or the other, but there are a lot of icebergs breaking off of out of the Arctic and floating in the uh, northern Atlantic Ocean. And uh, obviously, uh, well, Lake Ontario down there is higher than it's been in 20 years or more. We did not have a lot of snow this winter, so, uh, well, let's just check it out. We're going to put you on pause for a few minutes. Pause recording button. Pause recording. <laughs> And we're back, a little further down the trail. We're starting to head down now. Down closer to the lake. There's Lake Ontario there. I hope everybody can see. And we got a little road there, off to the side. A factory. It's awful loud. We slowly make our way around this little bend here and you start to drop down, down closer to the lake. Lake Ontario, part of the greatest freshwater lake system in the world. Lake Ontario, Lake Huron, Lake Erie, Lake Michigan, Lake Superior. This is the final lake on the way out to the St. Lawrence Seaway and then out to the Atlantic Ocean on the east coast of Canada. Doesn't look too bad so far. I wonder how far we're going to have to go before we uh, actually hit uh, the closed off area of this trail. It's a beautiful trail. A lot of people walk this trail. Birds. Nature. People walking their dogs. We've even got benches to sit to rest your legs. Anyway, we'll be back in a brief moment. Pause recording button. Pause recording. Congadan back. Hear all those birds? I don't know if you can hear them as well as I can. It's certainly nice and calming and serene down here. A little uh, wooden bridge over a gully. Some rocks. Don't want to wander along here when it's too slippery and wet. So the great flood in Port Hope in 1980. I was a kid, I was about five years old when it happened. Actually, I was five years old when it happened. My father brought me, we sat on a hill and watched things like washers and dryers and furniture floating down the river out into the lake and half-submerged cars from the car dealership, a lot of debris. It flooded up over top of the bridge on Walton Street, it washed out a lot. Port Hope changed forever after that. For a few years after the flood, 
they used blasting caps and dynamite, TNT, to deepen the river, blew, blowing up the bedrock and removing it to lower the river dozens of feet in an effort to make sure that uh, that flood never happens again. Um, every year since, well, for the last 35 years, Port Hope has celebrated the flood by having hosting the Float Your Fanny Down the Ganny race. It's a wonderful race. Crazy craft, people build their own little boats and float down the river on them, made out of whatever they can to float. It's a little bit of a contest, but it's also a lot of fun and a big event. Lots of stuff for children to do. Bands, radio stations, food, other vendors, bouncy castles for kids, craft supplies and craft a craft tent area. It's a lot of fun. Come check it out every year in April. Anyway, with all the uh, recent uh, melting of the ice caps and uh, rainfall that we've had, heavy rainfall in the area around Northumberland County and surrounding, there's flood warnings everywhere. All the major rivers have a flood warning attached to them. Part of the harbor in Port Hope, the boardwalk is temporarily closed down because the water is up over it. Anyway, let's keep going. That's recording, but pause recording. Hear that wind? It's like pretty good. I'm sure you can hear the waves now down there. See, we're dropping down closer and closer to Lake Ontario. My daughter and I love to go swimming in there, way back up the trail, at a nicer spot on the beach. Although this nice seclusion is beautiful. There's one of those benches again. It's starting to feel like we're out in the middle of nowhere now. It's a wonderful trail. Hiking is good exercise. far up I'm gonna have to go. It's interesting the way these trees overhang the overhang the lake. I hope everybody can see. And here we are. Probably not supposed to go past here. I'm gonna just get a little bit of a picture of what's going on here. There's some erosion and so forth. I'll just go a little further. I just wanna show everybody what they mean. They've tried to fix it recording. up a bit. Pause recording button. Double tap to activate. No, we're not gonna pause the recording yet. We're going to check it out. It is kind of starting to fall away in places. I hope those birds like my music. 